hey guys welcome to android so in this video we are going to have a brief overview of the nitrogen os rom so as you can see that uh, this rom is based on android marshmallow 6.0.1 and uh, it comes in with the 5th july security patch and uh, the build date is 12th of july and the stock kernel is at permissive by default and uh, then from the top you can view about the nitrogen os rom you can visit their website github and the google plus community and then uh, these are the people who are behind the room so as you can see that uh, Nazmul Hassan is the maintainer for the Android 1 first generation devices and uh, hence this is an official build then uh, you can also view the change log since the last build so I did a, a video recently for this room but uh, um, you know this is a request video and uh, the uh, the updated build was released just today and uh, so I got a request from uh, uh, one of you guys and that's why I'm doing this video so we'll get in uh, we'll get into the configurations now so most of the customizations are present under the person under the personalization menu so atop we have the status bar of uh, settings then uh, you can customize the battery icon style we have the portrait icon landscape icon circle dotted circle text or you can just hide it then you can show the battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon then uh, we have the battery bar settings you can customize the location of the battery bar either it can be on the top of the status bar top of the navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar then uh, we have the battery bar styles you know this is the regular one um, I'll just increase the thickness okay so this is the regular one the regular one is aligned to the left of the screen the center mirrored one is symmetrical right about the center of the home button and the reversed one is aligned to the right edge of the screen and then uh, if you want you can have the charging animation too but uh, in some of the low end phones this might result in a poor user experience so you should use that to your own discretion then uh, we can customize the various uh, aspects of the battery bar too um, so first of all you can customize the color of the battery bar the charging color and the low battery bar color too and then in the end you can customize the thickness too then next up we have the clock and date settings so you can choose the position of the clock right center left or hidden then uh, we can also customize the AM PM style so as I have also mentioned previously this these are the various font styles I'll just show them to you um, you can have a look at the center of the status bar for the changes this is the normal one and this is the small one and by default it is hidden and similarly and the sim the, the and similarly the date is also in the normal and the small font sizes um then we have various date styles you know uh, i'll just show the date so this is the normal one this is the lowercase one and this is the uppercase one then we have various date formats you can uh, have a quick look through them um, so these are the options which we have then uh, you can enable the battery saver notification if you want to or you can just disable that low battery notification then we have the tune icons so from here you can either show or hide the icons which uh, which are there on your status bar so uh, as you can see that at uh, at the moment the Wi-Fi icon is being shown there in the status bar it is right next to the headsets icon so at the moment it is checked in so it is being shown in the status bar the moment I just check that off it disappears and when I just uh, check back that again it reappears then we have the network traffic settings so uh, you know either you can show the outgoing network traffic the incoming tra network traffic or both the outgoing and the incoming network traffic then we have the display unit bits per second or bytes per second update interval high you can hide the arrows when there is no data exchange going on auto hide and the inactivity threshold in the end then we have the carry label settings um, but that is again giving a force close I have uh, tried that previously too and uh, um, and we are still giving a force loss so um, we'll just move on to the next setting then um, then we have the custom header images uh, and you know these are nothing but the time contextual headers so you know these are the there are many options from which we can choose from this is the normal pack then this is the nitrogen os header pack then we have the 
patterns one this is the nature one this is the random nature one um, and then this is the screwed one so a great number of options to choose here from too and then uh, you can also customize the shadow header images you know it will it is nothing but uh, you know then you will have a better visibility on bright images as the explanation states then you can show the notification count if you want to and you can also show the uh, weather in the extended status bar header region um then next up we have the quick setting panel customization so first of all we can uh, uh, customize the quick setting tiles which we have in the quick settings panel so these are the tiles which are enabled by default and these are the tiles which we can add then uh, next up we have the quick settings edit icon so from here you can control the uh, you know you can uh, directly customize the quick settings from here so the quick settings edit icon is present right next to the battery icon so if i click from here then uh, you will directly get into the system UI to tuner from uh, which you can uh, customize the quick setting tiles directly and uh, if you want to just uh, go back to the def uh, the stock layout then you can click on the reset button and it will take you back to the uh, default layout then uh, you can also choose the number of tiles which should appear per row three four or five you can enlarge the first row if you want to brightness slider brightness icon vibrate on touch we also have the tile animation style no animation flip and rotate um, so you know if i just turn off the wi-fi this is the default animation and then this is the flip one and if i enable the wi-fi this is the flip animation and uh, then now i'll show you the rotate animation and this is the rotation animation and then you can uh, similarly customize the uh, speeds of the animation through low default and fast I'll just quickly show both of them to you this is the low speed so it appears pretty slow then uh, this is the fast one um, then uh, we also have the quick pull down and the smart pull down too then we have the buttons customization so if you're if you are using a device which has uh, hardware backlit keys then uh, you know this is the place uh, where you can enable the backlight from um, by default it is disabled or maybe because I am using an Android one device which does which only comes with two hardware keys which are the volume rock and the power uh, with, and the power of button um, so maybe it is disabled by default or in if you are using a phone with a with a with hardware backlit keys then maybe it will be enabled by default for you but uh, I could I just can't confirm that um, then you can illuminate the buttons if you want to and reset to the uh, reset to the default layout and you can also adjust the illumination time um, that's completely up to you then we have the volume rocker settings you can enable you know uh, when you press the volume keys when the screen is off you can use that to wake up your device then we have the uh, volume rocker music controls long pressing the power buttons when the screen is off will uh, skip the music tracks um, and then you can control the media volume instead of the notifications volume when you when you know you are just pressing the volume rocker keys so by default it controls the notification volume as you can see and when i just turn on the media control it will be control it will control the ringtone volume then you can swap the volume keys when the device is rotated and you can also use the volume up key to answer the call um, then we have uh, various touch customizations the long press action and the double tap action um, similarly we have the same options with the menu button too and uh, we have the kill app back button here and you can also adjust the timer for that too so this option is the kill app back button option is not present in the developer options it has been imported right uh, into the button settings so it's nice to see that too um, and uh, now coming into the navigation bar settings so the navigation bar is not enabled by default and if you are using a phone without without the hardware keys then uh, first of all you need to get into the uh, get into the personalization settings and uh, then you first of all need to enable the navigation bar it is disabled by default um, then we have the buttons and layout so if you want to have a look at the option at the buttons which we get in by default then we have the menu button the power button notifications button torch camera screenshot immersive mode application picker so a lot of 
things we so you have a lot of options to choose from in here and then you can restore back to the default layout if you want to I'll just go back to the default layout for the video um, then uh, we can customize the navigation bar height and width and the maximum option is uh, 48 dps and the minimum is 0 dps which will you know just turn off the navigation bar eventually and uh, then you can show the arrow keys while typing we also have the left handed mode and you can also color the navigation bar buttons um, and then we have the gestures so you can double tap to sleep on the status bar double tap to sleep on the navigation bar double tap to sleep on the lock screen and we also have a three finger gesture to take the screenshot um, so this is a pretty handy feature I'll just, uh, I will just uh, show that to you um, or maybe first of all uh, I will enable the show touches option okay So as you see that uh, I slid down uh, three fingers and uh, uh, that resulted in a screenshot so you know this is a pretty handy feature and uh, then we come into the lock screen settings so you can customize the bottom lock screen shortcuts so instead of the google now option and the camera button you can uh, have something of your own preference then uh, you can show the media cover art on the lock screen if you want to and then we have the lock screen torch long pressing the power key when the screen is off will uh, turn on the led torch at the back of your device then uh, we have lock screen blur and uh, as i've also mentioned previously uh, lock screen blur uh, leads to some uh, 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 you know lock screen blur sucks up your battery so if you want to use lock screen blur then you would be compromising on some part of your battery too so just make sure that you know you are doing that uh, carefully and if you are enabling lock screen blur then uh, you can also customize the blur effect intensity then uh, you can customize the lock screen wallpaper and uh, if you want to go back to the default wallpaper which is nothing but the wallpaper which the which your launcher is using then you can use the clear lock screen wallpaper then you can also show the weather on the lock screen if you want to show the location timestamp then that's completely up to you we have also uh, different icon packs we can choose from um, then you can hide the weather panel when there are a certain number of notifications in um, and then we also have the lock lock fonts and these are the options which are which we get in the lock lock fonts settings um, that's all what we have then uh, we have the power menu settings so you know you all have a great number of options to choose from in here too so this is how the power menu looks like when all the op options have been enabled and uh, you know at the moment I will have to scroll through the option because there are a lot of them but uh, when you will just decrease the LCD density to a lower value then all of them will appear on a single page layout and you know you would then you need not scroll through to access the various options um, then we have the recent app settings you uh, you do get the clear all button in and then we have the six location icon uh, the six location pack top right top left top center bottom right bottom left bottom center so you can choose from any one of them then you can if you want to include the foreground task when you are clear when you are clearing all the when you are using the clear all button then you can do that too um, then if you want to show the search bar in the recents and uh, you know this uh, new option which comes in with this build if you want to enable the development shortcut um, you know this will enable application management shortcut in the notifications area and the recent apps list um, okay let's see mm. Mm. well I don't know why but I just can't see that uh, uh, the development shortcut which the option is saying mm. and it is not present in the notifications region too um, so maybe I'll just go back to the uh, developer and you know maybe just ping him about that the developer shortcut option is not uh, visible and I will report the same issue in the Google Plus community too so let's see how the developers get back um, then next up we have the immersive recents so we have the full screen one or you can just show the status bar or the navigation bar only that's completely up to you 
uh, then we have the miscellaneous stuff so we get the app circle bar in so you know you can I'll just quickly show you the app circle bar you can just quickly I'll just quickly select uh, these apps and so app circle bar is you know we as you can see that this turquoise color uh, there, uh, there is a turquoise color region on the right edge of the screen and uh, when I will just touch in that region uh, a circular arc will pop out from the edge of the screen which will enlist the apps which we had just selected um, so I'll just okay so you can customize the various aspects of the app circle bar trigger region and uh, you know when I just touched that uh, on the trigger region in the, the as you can see that the circular a circular arc pops out from the right edge of the screen and if you want to open any any app then uh, you can just select that and if you want to do away with the app circle bar then you can just uh, tap on any region outside the app circle bar and it will go away um, then we can customize the clock widget settings so if you want to use a custom location in here then uh, this is the place where you can do that and then uh, we also have some icon sets in here colored monochrome and v cloud then we have the scrolling cache force expanded notifications disable immersive mode messages disable force close notifications then you can use the mtp instead of charging and media scan behavior on boot oh. um, so we do get the layer layers manager built in by default we don't have the cm theme engine in this room and uh, but it's good to see that the layers manager is built in by default or in other rooms we sometimes have to download the layers manager from the play store separately and then you know you can just uh, go ahead and download any layers theme and uh, flash them and see how things work out and then um, super is built right inside so if you want to uh, and this I, I guess that this is the latest version of the super Sue rom uh, so this is 2.65 but the latest one is 2.76 i guess uh, but maybe again uh, they will definitely this thing will, will definitely be coming up in the next build of the room um then we have app ops which can be used to customize the uh, various permissions so i'll just quickly give you a uh, so you know I have as I've also mentioned previously the best feature about app ops is that you can enable or disable any apps which start on boot so uh, you know if you just make sure that you don't disable any core apps which are related to the system and uh, if you just end up disabling uh, those apps then you might end up breaking your device um, so apps such as gallery or you know camera might be disabled but uh, you know you just can't disable uh, disable the apps such as phone call management and phone and missing storage so you just need to keep in mind that and maybe you can also disable uh, the email option too and uh, similarly you know you can just check off that auto start option um then we also have the keep awake uh, permission in here so you know if you if your battery if you feel that your battery is draining way too much then definitely there is a certain app which consists of a particular wake lock which is uh, keeping your device awake and not preventing it from going to the deep into the deep sleep mode or doze mode whatever you may call that as um and you know uh, it is this permission which you can't disable to find the you know to prevent the battery draining but to find out which app is actually draining the battery you need to uh, refer to the better battery stats app um, you need to just enable that you can download that from the XCA developers forums or you know, it is also available now on the play store so it's a must have app um, then uh, you can also disable uh, location settings then again we have the keep awake option for the browser too if you want to use that then you can use that and if you if you don't want the uh, the browser to access your location too then you can disable that too so app ops is uh, you know it uh, it is i will say that it's a way more advanced system than the stock permission system that we have in android marshmallow um then you know we also have different aspects which can be looked upon and uh, suppose you know uh, again that's completely up to you what permissions you want to enable or disable but uh, uh, if you want to if you are afraid that you might just uh, 
harm your device then uh, i will definitely recommend you to take a android backup first so in case anything goes wrong you can always go back to the recovery and restore that backup and uh, get your device back and uh, then we also have the blocked caller list so if you have uh, if you want to block any annoying person then you can use this option um, then we have the display settings brightness level adaptive brightness sleep timeout daydream ambient displays ambient displays enabled um, I guess it's said enabled and right now it says disable but initially it was saying enabled and no way but anyways um, then um, if you want you can also customize various aspects of the ambient display option too the brightness level uh, fade in time visible duration fade out notification trigger and you know that's completely up to you then um, then the font size LCD density you can enter any custom value too so that's great to see that too um, then we have the uh, rotation settings you can allow the auto rotation and we also have the 180 degrees rotation if you want to allow that too um, then cast expanded desktop wake up on charge enable double tap to launch the power button you know the bottom right ta uh, target of the screen so usually we have that uh, the double tapping the you know the pressing the power button twice when the screen is off that will launch the camera but it's great to see that they are giving you the option to customize that uh, when you will double press the power button uh, you will when you will press the power button twice it will launch the bottom right lock screen shortcut so it's great to see that and then you can also adjust the targets vibration um, next up you have the sound and notification configurations uh, so we have the volume steps in here and uh, the minimum is 5 and the maximum is 60 like always um, and these are the options which you can customize um, then we have other sounds and we do get dial pad tone, screen locking sounds, charging sounds, charging vibration, volume adjustment sounds, touch sounds, vibrate on touch and the camera shutter sound so great deal of options in here too and then if you want to customize the notification light and the battery light then you can do that here and uh, that's all what we have in the sound and notification settings um, so as this room is based on AOSP you can enable the battery saver whenever you want to uh, you know you obviously can't enable the battery saver when your phone is in the charge mode um, then we have the security settings you can adjust the lock screen type the lock screen message and unknown sources is checked in by default so it's great to see that too um, that's all what we have in here and uh, then we have the developer options so android debugging is enabled by default then we have the animation settings and uh, after the animation settings we have the multi window mode in here so if you want to enable that you need to go to the developer options um, then as I was as I have already told you the kill app back button was present in the buttons option and uh, that's all what we have in the settings menu and then these are the apps which we get inside the room um, okay so we do have the uh, stock camera and this browser is from CM13 um, then you also have the calculator calendar stock camera stock clock and uh, the layers manual is built in and then this the Apollo music player from CM13 mm. so these are the apps which we have and uh, we also do get Viper for Android and uh, the and BusyBox is installed by default so you don't need to worry about going ahead and downloading any app from the Play Store to specifically install BusyBox or uh, flash zip from the uh, from XT developers uh, so just don't worry about that and you can directly go ahead and install the driver and reboot your phone to activate it um, then lastly I will cover up the APK feature which I have also mentioned about previously so um, so well, as you can see that uh, when I just clicked on then on any APK file it uh, uh, directly open up the package installer and so you can uh, view that too 
and uh, another change which has been made into this room is that uh, now you can view the current version and the new version of the app which you are installing directly from the package launcher um so um as i've already told you that uh, you can uh, nitrogen os and uh, i had also covered up this feature in my previous review of nitrogen os that uh, you can install any apk directly from the uh, stock file manager or the stock file browser and then we'll have a look at the wallpapers which we get in with the room so we definitely get a few add on wallpapers as you can see and uh, these are the wallpapers which the which have been chosen by the nitrogen os developers so it's great to see all these wallpapers in here um and then in the end the stock launcher only has one customization and that is to allow the rotation of the home screen when the device is rotated so i think that uh, that's all what uh, i have for you guys in this video and uh, if you just tap on the gear icon well uh, nothing happens when you are long pressing on the on the gear icon in the header region so i guess that they haven't enabled any uh, that system yet you know you maybe just uh, you know you can't in some rooms you can just long press the gear icon to access that feature but uh, in here you can just directly press on the edit icon which is uh, you know left to the gear icon and uh, you can then directly access the system you you know okay so i think that i have covered up everything which comes in with the room uh, and we don't have any widgets which are specific to the room um we do get power control which through which you can quickly toggle on and off the wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode sync and adaptive brightness so that's all okay so thanks for watching guys and uh, if you like the video then do hit the thumbs up button and if you want to watch more videos from my side then do hit the subscribe button too so thanks for watching and have a nice day i'll catch you guys in the next one